And some of our young brothers make it easy to be stereotyped because you out here like a fool. That's right. Talk to me. Go ahead. Go ahead. You reinforce them falsely charging you. That's right. By walking around with your pants hanging down. That's right. You don't go in no public place with a hood on your head. Go ahead. You don't go in a store with a hood on your head. Go ahead. You don't go in school with a hood on your head. Go ahead. Take your head off. Mm-hmm. You don't go in a young girl's house with a hood on your head. With a hood. Like you don't have no home training. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Pull your pants up. Go ahead. Hide your underwear. That's right. Put them down in your pants. Am I right, man? Yeah. Talk to me. Yeah. Don't need the advertising. Need to advertise your draws. You see a car full of young men, don't get in it. That doesn't matter if they're your friends. That's right. You don't know who the other one may be up to. Whether you're a car full of white brothers, car full of black brothers, car full of yellow brothers, doesn't matter. A car full of young boys, no. Why do you think the prison system now is, is, is being privatized? Yeah. That means if it's being privatized, the investors are setting up a prison for a money-making business. And they're looking forward for you committing crimes. That's true. They make money when you do wrong. That's right. That's true. Well, you think it's cool with your drawers hanging out, sucking a cigarette. A hoodie on your head in 95 degree weather. Oh, my Lord. You think it's cool to stay on the corner and always hoisting your pants up between the crouch of your legs. Go ahead. Like you's a loose dog. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Am I right? Teach it, brother. Teach it. You help reinforce the stereotype. That's right. You knocking up young girls and then I want to take care of your baby. Amen. You reinforce the stereotype that you are a group of lazy, no good bums. Go ahead, brother. So now they make movies about you. Yes, yes, they do. Minister society. Right. They make movies about you. That's right. You always see the young black man, either a drug dealer or a pimp or a crackhead right. or a crooked cop. That's true. You reinforce We're teaching, brother. the stereotype. Go ahead. Mm. Homes that are broken up, fathers mm-hmm. won't take care of your children. Mm-hmm. So you go down to the court. Yeah. You'll find loads of young women mm-hmm. trying to get some type of compensation. Yeah. Because they married the bums. Mm-hmm. You can't come to church jumping and shouting and you ain't taking care of your children? That's right. Yeah. Am I right, man? Yeah. Am I right, I said? Yeah. 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 What kind of spirit moving on you? Yeah. What kind of tongue can you talk in? That's right. You're not even in position to demand respect yeah. from your wife or children. That's yeah. right. You're not in position. Why? Right. Someone said, I don't believe that. Give me the book of Timothy real quick. Yeah. Let's see how God respects a man That's right. that won't take care of his children. That's right. That's right. That's right. Let's see how God feel about a man. Mm-hmm. Now, I want all you men that are watching to get this. I want all you parents to get your young sons mm-hmm. who got them beans jumping in them. That's right. First Timothy chapter 5. I want you young girls to get this. Mm-hmm. Who can't keep your low, your legs closed. Right. I heard, I haven't talked to young women. I, I want a baby, but I don't want another one. I don't want to get married. My Lord. These young men don't want to take care of no babies now. No. They don't mind helping you make them. That's right. Listen. First Timothy chapter 5 and at verse 8. I want to show you how God feel about bums. But if any. 
if any provide not for his own provide not for his own and especially for and those especially for those of his own house of his own house he hath denied the faith no he's in the church he hath denied the faith he denied the faith and is worse he's what worse what worse what worse worse than what than an infidel an infidel is an unbeliever that's right and if you refuse to take care of your children mm -hmm. in the eyes of God mm -hmm. he looked at you worse worse than an, than an unbeliever that's right if any provide not is he in the church if any he is worse than an enemy. is he in the church he has denied the faith when you deny the faith God don't look at you as being a member of the body that's right that's right so you're jumping he ignores it that's right you're speaking in tongue he ignores it amen any brother that's watching me now that's ministering in any church if you know there's brothers among that congregation that refuse to take care of their house they should not be functioning in the church that's right am I right then? Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. and you working a man that's a real man he'll go without a roof to make sure his kids have one a man that's a real man will go without a shirt and make sure his sons and daughters have one that's right go ahead go ahead the Lord said he hath denied the faith no he's in the body he hath denied the faith so you can't complain if that woman or children don't respect you that's because right because not even God respect you that's right God said he hath denied the faith when you don't take care of your children, your belief about one God don't mean nothing. Mean nothing. Someone said, well, I didn't say that. Faith means belief. Right. And when you deny the faith, that means you reject the belief. That's right. When you don't take care of children, like that's yours, he the in the eyes of God, you don't get no credit for all of the truth that you believe. That's right. When you refuse to take care of your children, Go God don't recognize your faith Go in ahead. Him. That's right. He don't recognize it. He has denied. You don't the faith. take care of your children. No need to pray for nothing. Go ahead. You don't take care of your children. All your fasting is no good. Hey, Lord. Don't preach. Don't preach. Why? The God of heaven said. He has denied the faith. You won't take care of your children? Get out the pulpit. That's right. Don't preach. That's right. Can't be a preacher. That's right. You can't be ordained. Amen. Use a liar to say God sent you. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. 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 Are you the same? Go ahead, brother. Can't be on brotherhood. Amen. Can't be a usher. That's right. Can't read for the preacher. Lord. Can't open up praise service. Amen. Take away the keys from the church. He has to die. Can't the be on no auxiliary. No. no need to be in prayer meeting. No. Don't allow him in no brotherhood meetings. No. no. Why? He has to deny the faith. Well, you deny the faith. Kick him out the brotherhood meeting. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Where you deny the faith, throw them off security team. Amen. Throw them off. Where you deny the faith, no more reading for the preacher. No. Nope. No more reading. God said he has denied the faith. How do we feel in the eyes of God? And is worse than an infidel. Amen. You don't even have the respect of God. My Lord. So you don't have a right to ask your wife or children to respect you. That's right. Anytime a man is working and won't take care of his children, go ahead. Denied the faith. He denied what? Denied the faith. But he believes it's one God. Denied the faith. But he speak in tongues. Denied the faith. But he baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Denied the faith. He fast. Denied the faith. He pray. Denied the faith. You don't get credit for nothing. He has denied. You the faith. do touching the faith. That's right. Even coming to church. That's right. God don't credit you for that. Amen. Lord. God don't credit you for even coming to church. My Lord. Even after he said for sick not to assemble yourselves together. That's part of the faith. Right. You don't take care of your children. What did you do? He had denied the faith. But I'm sitting in church, Lord. He had denied the faith. Even though the word of God says, say amen to the truth. And I do say amen to the truth. But I ain't taking care of my children. He had denied the faith. My amens don't mean nothing. That's right. 
I'm going on a three day and three night fast. But I'm not taking care of my children. What the God said? He has denied the faith. My fast ain't worth a bundle of trash. My Lord. You're not a man. And you have no right to be looked at as the head. That's right. To be the head, you got to step in the shoes of God. Go ahead. Go ahead. Church is called wife. Go ahead. Look out, God the Father. Go ahead. Who's called the husband? Yes. Treat his wife. Amen. He provides for. That's right. Take care of her. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, man. I had a brother in Philadelphia ask me. He heard me preach this. He came off. He said, "I heard you preach that, Pastor Dennis." He said, "But what if my wife leave me? Do I still gotta, you know, take care of the children or whatnot?" He said, how can you title that with the Bible? Right. I said, when the wife leave you, she departed from the husband, correct? He said, yeah. I said, God said he's married to the backslider. A right. backslider is one that departs from God. That's right. But you do find God still making provisions for the backslider. That's true. That's the backslider with a job. Right. Why? Bills can still get paid. Yeah. Food can get in the mouth. Yeah. Until the backslider humble him or herself right. and come back to God. That's true. If he come back. That's right. Good teaching. You speaking in tongue? Mm. You shouting? Mm -hmm. You going to church? Amen. You get ready to stay home and go to hell. That's right. The holy book says he has denied the faith. There's not a man that go to church is a Christian that don't take his family. That's right. It doesn't matter how much little bit of money you working. Go ahead, brother. Peel some off. Peel some off. That's right. That's right. If so, yeah. That's right. If you and your wife under the same roof or you're not, yeah. you gotta peel some off. Some off. That's right. Yeah. That's, right. that's right. The book says what? He hath denied the faith. If you don't, and is worse than an infidel. In the eyes of God, God said He looked at you worse. Worse than an infidel. Someone said, Why? Because you know better. Right. You've been taught the way of holiness. That's, that's right. right. That's why it's worse. That's true. But Pastor Dennis, my wife then took me to court and I'm already taking care of the children. Now she want to get more out of me. I'm not talking about that. No. I'm talking about you that's working and won't do nothing. Do nothing. Won't put a penny. Right. If any provide not for his own. If any provide not for his own. And especially for those of his own house. Especially. Now, I had another brother bring that to me. Mm -hmm. I think I was in uh, South Carolina. Mm -hmm. And he brought that clause, mm. especially them of his own house. own house. And he said, you see that? He said, of his own house. Me and my wife now got under the same roof. She's in her house. I'm in mine. Mm. <laughs> what, what are you doing? He's doing the snake. Trying to, right? That's right. trying to find a way. That's right. He looked at that scripture. Right. Own house. Own house. Own house is beyond everyone living under one roof. Oh, yeah. That's right. Own house mean of your same body, of your own people. That's right. It gets like in the book of Revelation, it says there were seven churches. Uh, but yet there's only one church. One church. And seven locations. Right. Own house. Mm -hmm. Maybe divorced or separated two different locations, but it's still one house. Still yeah. one house. That's right. Still your kids. That's right. Now I want to say to you that have fornicated and got a child or children. And now you want to be born again and be a Christian. And you think because the child was brought into the world through sin and lust, right. and now you're supposed to be this Christian, mm -hmm. you're supposed to have now walk in a new path, and you think now you ain't got to take care of your child because it was born when you was a sinner. Right. Your fool, the child is the innocent product of your sin. That's right. Take care of it. That's right. Man got to work Amen. and take care of his children. That's right. The holy law says. But if any provide not for his own. If you don't provide for your own. And especially for listen, those. If you can't take care of one child, then why try to have eight? That's right. Am I right, I say? It don't make no sense. Go ahead, it's just common sense. Yes, sir. If I can't take care of one, there's no need for me to try to have ten. Amen. No way. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Go ahead. 
If I can't have, take care of one, you need to try to have ten. ten. Right. And now, if I'm going to, if a brother going to come and say, look, I, I got it. If I'm not working, the brother say, look, I got a job for you. Mm-hmm. You know, they're hiring you. I'm able to get you in there. Now you're going to tell him, I don't, I don't do that kind of work. Go ahead. What right do you have? Go ahead. You got children. Mm-hmm. If you got to buy balloons and blow them up with your own breath. That's right. And buy ribbon mm-hmm. and sell them one by one. <laughs> That's right. You are do it to take care of your children. Oh yes. Go ahead, man. Are you listening? Go ahead. Go ahead. Mm. Brother, get you in a job and you walk off. This work is too hard for me, man. My, I got to be on my feet too long. My back hurts. Right. I got bunions. Go ahead, brother. I thought about that mm-hmm. when you were tapping the mattress. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Are you listening? God Almighty said. But if any provide not for his own. Talking to the church. Amen. If any provide not for his own. And especially for those of his own house. Now you can sit there and say, oh, this don't apply to me. The the Lord talking. You that are watching. You that are watching. You can sit there and get mad at me all you want. That's right. Turn the TV off. But God willing, we'll be back next week. Same holy time. Same channel. That's right. That's right. You young hot girls. Go ahead, brother. Stop giving your stuff up to bums. That's right. Keep your virginity till you get married to someone worthwhile. Yes. He got to be worthy of being a father and your husband. That's true. Father is an occupation. It's good teaching. Because you knock some girl up and got a baby. That don't mean you're a father. You got roaches that father... Little roaches. Little roaches. <laughs> Go ahead, man. And you'll find the animals and the insects providing for them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The ducks will block traffic. Yes, they will. Let everything know I'm here. <laughs> That's right. All traffic got to stop. They walk it. That's right. Let's going across. That's right. Are you listening to me, men? But if any provide not for his own. It is God talking, Amen. not Pastor Jennings. No, 1 Timothy 5 and verse 8. You want your going to church and your shouting and your tongue talking and your opening church doors and opening up prayer service, being on a brother. You want all that stuff to mean something? <laughs> That's right. Take care of your children. Oh, yeah. You don't take care of your children, you're on your way to hell. Right, he hath denied the faith. What? He hath denied the faith. You don't take care of your children, you're on your way to hell. He had the- Did you hear what I said? That's right. Every man, black, white, yellow, brown, red, orange, if you stripe it. <laughs> That's right. Stripe. You don't take care of your children. Go ahead. You're on your way to hell. Go ahead. Now go to church. Go to church. Jump and shout. Speak in tongue. You do all me. what you want. Right. You women, anytime that man refuses to take care of his children, then you should talk to the local minister. That's right. And let the minister know it. That's right. And you local minister, sit that fella down. That's right. I don't care if it's every man in the church. Go ahead. And if they won't take care of their children, sit them all down. Amen. 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 Well, Pastor Jennifer, I sent them all down. What should I do? You open up the church. You open up praise service. You read the scripture. You lead the prayer and introduce yourself. That's right. It's good teaching, brother. We have no respect for no man who won't take care of his own. Amen. If you get a child of wedlock, you still take care of it. Still take care of it. Now let me talk to some of you silly women. Then I get back to the counterintelligence. 
<laughs> Women that get head over heels for manipulative men. And if you got a child or children, and if he's willing to take care of you and your children, and yet you see, he won't even take care of his, mm. he is not gonna take care of yours. That's right. Not only that, if you see he won't take care of his, then don't buy his sales pitch. You have to back off him and tell him, well, wait a minute, how you talk about taking care of mine we won't even take care of yours. Oh. Respect yourself enough to reject the fool. That's right. Tell him you take care of your own. That's right. Are you listening to me? Go ahead, brother. You can't teach your son to be a man. Mm -hmm. And you won't even take care of your children. Right. Your son is witnessing firsthand that his daddy is a bum. That's right. Are you listening to the old troublemaker that makes the human family mad? Amen. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. You got white bums, black bums, yellow bums, brown bums. Brown bums. Just bums out there. That's right. Bragging about how many girls they knocked up. Yeah. Bragging about how many kids they got. Yeah. And don't take care of one. Don't take care of one of them. Something. Five months go by and give the girl a dollar. Then say, well, at least I something. <laughs> Lord help him. Are you listening? Amen. Do you hear this? But if any, prov if any provide not for his own. Hold it right there. For who? Any provide not for his own. Hold it right there. You should not be trying to do something for somebody else. His own. Until you get your own straight. That's true. That's right. That's true. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I ain't buying no child a hat, and my child ain't got none. I ain't buying no child a diaper, and my child ain't need a diaper. That's right. I ain't buying no child a jacket, and my child need jacket. I ain't gonna buy no. 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 Where it gotta start? His own. Yo. Amen. The Holy God says start where? His own. That's right. God says start where? His own. Start where, brothers? His own. That's right. Where? His own. No, the next door neighbor. His own. My cousin. His own. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. My nephew. His own. Go ahead, brother. One of the brothers in the church. His own. My twin. His own. My in-law. His own. Hmm. My older brother. His own. Younger brother. His own. Go ahead, brother. My uncle. His own. His own. This is God talking. If any provide not for his own. If you try to do it another way, God blocked you there and said you're a thief and a robber. Right. That's right. That's right. There's no way out of it. No way out of that. No you got to come on and give an offering yes. to those children. That's right. And <laughs> got to give an offering. Go ahead, brother. Moreover. Moreover. Go ahead, brother. It's good teaching. Man. It doesn't matter how much I love children. There's no way that I would have seven kids mm -hmm. and me and my wife struggling with two. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Or struggling with three. They gonna keep coming out? What I'm going I would be a fool. Well, I can't help it. Can't help I can't control myself. <laughs> well, I'm gonna make some adjustments somehow. Oh, yeah. That's right. Oh, yeah. It's just common sense. Oh, yeah. When I, when I use common sense, I ain't got to be bothering that brother. I ain't got to be borrowing from that brother. I ain't got to be borrowing. I'm borrowing from you and still trying to make them. If I can't afford it, pull my drawers up. If I can't afford it, get off that woman. If I can't afford it, get her up off you. 
Why bring a child in the world and you can't take care of it? Go ahead, bro. You looking for everybody else to take care of it. Yeah. Other than yourself. Yeah. There's too many women that don't want to work, but left with no choice to work, tired, exhausted, working to take care of their kids, while the hugs are doing nothing. Nothing. But going to church. That's right. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. That's right. Sit down. That's right. Go ahead. He has denied the faith. You have denied the faith. And it's worse than an infidel. That means your shouting is nothing but hypocrisy. That's all. That's a hypocrite jumping. That's right. Huh? That's right. Because God said he had denied the faith. That's a hypocrite jumping. Mm -hmm. I don't want no brother on security. And he refused to take care of his family. Refused. I don't want no bum talking in a walkie-talkie. That's right. Not acceptable, sir. Not acceptable. Go ahead. Go ahead. Bro. Well, security bum. Security bum. Go ahead. Bro. That's not acceptable. That's right. It doesn't matter if the woman that you married is not in the church. Them children are still yours. Amen. Take care of them. He's home. That woman caused you all those trouble. Those children are innocent victims. That's right. You women, stop taking this junk off these bums. That's right. Don't. Now you that are watching, I know some of you now will say, well, Pastor Jennings, well, the Bible said at the end of you having a matter against the other, go before the law and the unjust. So me and my wife are in the church and uh, I'm going to do what I'm going to do. She can't take me to court because the Bible says she can't. No, it didn't. No, it didn't say that. It says that dare any of you having a matter against another, go before the law, before the unjust. He's pointing out a certain particular kind of law. Those that are unjust with the law. That's right. Otherwise than that, I say, like the apostle, bring Zenus, the lawyer. That's right. Bring him. The law is made the law for the this. lawless. That's right. When you denied the faith, you denied biblical law right. and moral law. That's right. Take his behind and before the judge. Don't let him tell you how much he's able to give. Let the court tell you how much he can give. That's right. That's right. Because if a man don't want to take care of his, he'll tell you right away, I, I only can give this. Only, only can. Right, don't go calling me and asking me, should I take him to court? Is he a bum? Yeah. Take him. Take him. <laughs> go ahead. You that are watching me, take him. Take him on. Stop letting him snow you down. Baby, you know, you know. Well, I'm gonna take you to court. Well, baby, you know, look, I'm and you like, well, I'm gonna take you to court. Oh, oh I just can't help it. Amen. Somebody gotta stand up for the children. That's right. You men, what right you got? To wanna get laid by your woman. And you won't take care of your children. Amen. Why would you even want to get laid? That's right. That's right. <laughs> a man don't respect a woman if he say, well, I give the children something, but you got to give me something in return. He's telling you, he don't think nothing of you. That's right. He don't think nothing of you. That's right. And you got to be a low fool to agree to it. That's right. Amen. Are you sure you're going to do for the kids this time? Are you sure? sure. Yeah, baby, you, look, you know the way it is. You know the way I am. Are you sure? Look, I don't want to do this if you're not going to, you know. <laughs> so you agree to lay down. Have he got what he want? Please. That's right. It's called tag. Tag and go. That's right. Ain't nothing but a drive by. That's all right. My Lord. Are you listening? But if any provide not for his own, for his own, and especially for and those of his own house. Oh, I let you know God got some real feelings about this. Oh yeah. Especially, especially. Ex he's emphasizing. Especially for those especially. of his own house. Especially, especially. Those that are yours. All house means those that are yours. That's right. And your own house can be in Italy. Yeah, it can be. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's right. Your own house can be in Africa. Amen. 
If they yours, Amen. God said especially. especially for those of his own house. Brother Jenny, man, I got 20 kids, man. They're going to take all my money. You should have thought it out when you, when you were shooting. Amen. Should have thought it out when you was at the firing range. At the firing range. You should have thought it out when all those members kept running out. Woo! <laughs> should have thought of that. That's right. Children should have to suffer because you lazy. Amen. Yeah. What man will get offended by this but a bum? A bum. Amen. This is truth. Amen. That's right. Why don't you speak in tongue off this? That's right. Why can't we move off this? Hey! Glory! Yeah. Come on, up. why, why, why can't we? It's the same truth. Same truth. Same Go ahead. Same spirit Go ahead. that said the other stuff said this. That's right. That's right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Same spirit. It's good teaching, brother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Some of it is you women fault. Yes, Some of it is your fault. You keep letting these men make you artificial promises. If a man is not working, he can't do if he's not. So I'm not talking about that. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about a man that's working. Yeah. Before I pay, if, if I owe Dan $50, yeah. before I give it to him, yep. I'm going, I got to do for my kids first. Yeah. You got to wait, brother. Absolutely, man. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Huh? Absolutely. If I owe yep. Shade $100, he got to wait. That's right. That's right. I got, I got to take care of my kids first. If Shay say, look, bro, I need my hundred dollars. I know, man, but look, I gotta, I gotta, my kids need some things first. Now that's doing all things decently and in what? Because the Lord put an emphasis. Especially for those of his own house. Your own. Especially. If me and my wife struggling with three, I don't care how bad I want four. That's right. Her senses ought to kick in and say, look, Gino, all right, listen. No more babies. No more. We barely, we barely making it with three. And 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 I mean, there's no need for us to try to kick for four. <laughs> got to close. Some got it. Some got to give. You got to either put on some duct tape or a tube sock or something. <laughs> I'm gonna have to give. That's right. <laughs> Why? She the one got to carry it. Yeah. <laughs> She don't want to have to carry it. That's right. That's right. That duct tape, <laughs> That duct tape, a tube sock, black electrical tape, anything to keep those boys in. <laughs> because you know them boys are militant. Oh, yes. And when they come into darkness, they come in to find the light. That's right. <laughs> There are warriors in the darkness warriors. going against the current. Oh, yeah. All of them are running. But only one received the prize. The book says, so run that you may obtain. Some things of what I said may be funny, but it's hardcore truth. Yeah. Does it make sense to have six kids if I only can manage three? Does it make sense? No, it do not. If three is a struggle for me, I'm stopping. That's right. Yeah, I'm stopping. I got to be wise. And that way I'm being considerate and looking out for my family. I'm looking out for my family. That eliminate me going on a borrowing spree. And now I owe everybody in the church. Yeah, then I'm going to owe everybody in the church. Now there's many men get offended at this, but I don't care if they get offended. The book speak plain. If any provide not for his own, and especially for those of his own house, he hath denied the faith. Who house should be taken care of his first? His own house. Church, who house should be taken care of first? Own Talk house. back to me. Own house. Own house. Yes, sir. The Lord said, how you feel about the own house? Especially. 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 And if I don't, he is he hath denied the faith. I'm, what? He hath denied the faith. But I'm fasting. Denied the faith. I believe it's one God. Denied the faith. I'm praying. Denied the faith. I'm, I don't miss church. Denied the faith. I mean, I don't get credit for nothing. Nothing. 
I'm literally not getting credit for nothing. Mm. I'm looked at in the eyes of God as a pure sinner. Pure sinner. Right. Because worse. if I'm worse than an infidel, an infidel. infidel is an unbeliever. That's and right. an unbeliever is a sinner. Right. I'm looked at worse, worse. than a sinner. That's right. My Lord. My Lord. He that can receive this saying, <laughs> let him receive it. Let him receive it. All right, let's go back. Amen. Finish up real quick mm. with Joseph. Back in Genesis chapter Everybody 29. all right? Yeah. If you're not, don't lie. That's right. I want to say to you that watch the telecast, you know that go for you too. Mm -hmm. I know I got a lot of bums watching me. Right. Yes, you young girls that are watching me now, you got a boyfriend and you got a mind to get pregnant. Keep that bum hands off of you. That's and right. put your panties and bra back on. Put your skirt back on and leave. Leave. Because the young men of today is not about taking care of no children. No. That's not in their DNA. That's right. Their DNA is knock up and get up. Right. That's the DNA of the young generation. Knock up and get up. My Lord. Huh? My Lord. Let me educate you young folk. Yeah. Who think you miss thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right. Come on, son. Back in Genesis chapter 39 and verse 14. All right. That she called unto the men of her house and spake unto them, saying, See, he hath brought in an Hebrew unto us to mock us. Joseph's master, wife, want to set Joseph up now mm -hmm. because Joseph rejected the woman. That's right. So as a result of the rejection of the woman, she couldn't take rejection. No. So now she want to get him. That's right. Mm-hmm. He came in unto me to lie with me. Liar. Right. He came in unto me to lie with me. Sometimes folks think they hurt you. Yeah, I believe you did it. They'll come to you like that. I believe you did it. I believe. Yeah. Now when they see you ain't phased by it, <laughs> eventually they go on. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. When you know you're true about a thing, just you ain't got to get worked up. Just be cool. Yeah. Be calm. Listen good, because the very one, the very one that mm. fight against you, God will make them your footstool. That's right. I'm gonna show you this real quick. He came in unto me to lie with me, and I cried with a loud voice. Liar! Mm. Some of you women watching me now, that's what you've done. Yeah. The sex that you had at having was consensual. Right. Heard someone coming, rape. Mm. And then on the other hand, he didn't want to be bothered with you and didn't. Right. So now you feel scorned and rejected. Mm. Now you want to put his name out there because he would not agree. That's right. That's true. So now you want to paint this picture like you the greatest, best thing that ever came in his life. That's right. The most fine and beautiful thing. <laughs> oh, you paint yourself up because he reject you. Yeah. Amen. Good teaching. Because a woman know I can pretend to be emotional and get folk to believe me. Yeah. But one thing about this teaching, it makes people now check that emotional one. Yes, sir. That's right. Makes them start rechecking now. Because as some of us look back, some of us was really made a fool. Yeah. The devil will make you start turning against the one that love you. The ones that's trying to help you, the devil make you turn against them. That's right. And the ones that got it in for you, the devil makes you embrace them. Embrace them. That devil say, well, yeah, you're really my brother. You only you believe what I'm saying. You take, see, you, 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 I, you, you, you feel what I feel. Yeah. In your heart, you know what I'm telling you is true. In my heart. That's right. Some jerking fool. <laughs> then you get to start jerking. Hallelujah. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I want to take my time and educate you. Yeah. All right, young man and young woman that are watching, get this. He, he, he came in unto me to lie That's with right. me. That's right, get it out, get it out, son. What happened? He came in unto me to lie with me. I don't want to sit down and affect your language. <laughs> what happened? He came in unto me to lie with me. Liar. Amen. He came unto me to lie with me. Notice, she didn't tell the story like it was. No. She came unto me to lie. With me. With me. And I cried with a loud voice. Liar. She never did nothing. She the one was pursuing him. That's right. Flip the script. Oh, he was chasing me. Yeah. 
And some old crazy fools would believe it. <laughs> Listen. And it came to pass when he heard that I lifted up my voice and cried. No, that some women have put it out. He chased me. Yeah. But then when you look at the woman, she don't even foot the bill of something that he would chase. Yeah, right. Amen. That's right. That's right. There's some men. Man, she chased me. She's chasing me down. <laughs> but when you know the woman, she's not even that type that'll chase a man. Yeah. Right. In other words, there's some have put it out, you chased them. Yeah. And hoping that that would make you feel bad. That's right. There's some that have put it out, she chased him. <laughs> hoping that that would make you feel bad in character. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Learn how to hold your own. You know you ain't chase her or she ain't chase... Hold your own. You ain't got nothing to worry about. That's right. Hmm? That's right. Listen good. And it came to pass when he heard that I, I lifted up my voice and cried. And what? That he left his garment with me and fled and got him out. Yes. And she laid up his garment by That's her. another thing the FBI would do. They would hire women to plant their underclothes. Wow. Right. I'm telling you. Right. Plant their undercoats in men's cars, wow. men's houses, even in hotels where men were staying. Mm. So I want to say, well, how can the FBI do that? They got access to locksmiths and everything. Yes, right. Amen. Oh, yeah. To the degree where they take the man's semen wow. that he may have through a test of something that's reserved at a hospital. Go to the hospital, get it. Take his blood. Blood that he donated. Put it at the spot. My Lord. Anything to get rid of him. Take his DNA, put it on a woman's underwear. That's what, the co that's what the counterintelligence program was. It was designed to the utter destruction of that man or that organization. And they are people that are just that devious to do the same thing. My Lord. People will take your picture. Get together with somebody on the computer. Move their head around. Move their arm around. Next thing you know, they got you on the computer. You ever did those stick drawings and you flip the pages like you're moving? Right. That's right. They do the same thing. Same thing. The problem with many of us, we are naive. Yeah. Many of us have never heard of the COINTEL program. But you're going to get some knowledge today. Amen. Because there are people right in church that are puppets of the program. Yeah that are students yeah. of the program, that are Muppets, Muppets. Huh. of the program. Muppets. Some of them have participated in their own COINTEL operation through text messages and emails and phone calls and all that stuff. My Lord. To design their own personal program to destroy folks right in the church. And when they see they couldn't do it, they left. Left out. Right. Or they stay around and communicate with those that left. Now, if everything is peaceful, another part of the COINTEL program is to cause confusion. That's right. Another part of the COINTEL program is to find out where conflicts are among congregations. Mm -hmm. And if I see there's a conflict between that group or that brothers or that sisters or there's a click, hmm. How can I enlarge it? How can I stir up the fire? That's right. How can I enhance the flame? So what would I do? I start a rumor or send a text message to a brother that I done studied who know he got it in for the other brother. I send a text message to Brother White because I observed Brother White when he didn't know it. And I noticed how he began to uh, look in a negative way at Brother Johnson. Brother Johnson, maybe I didn't pay it no mind, but because I work for the counterintelligence program, it's my job right. to notice. So I'm going to notice what Johnson don't. And I'm going to notice every time Johnson come around, how Brother White face change. Brother White don't even like to shake his hand. And I'm going to make it my business to be around brothers who Brother White is talking to 
Because if Brother White got something against Johnson and ain't gonna stay in him, right. it's gonna come out to the other brother, so then I'm gonna hear it. Now I got something to work with. My Lord. So now I'm gonna take that thing that Brother White is keeping to himself and add logs to the fire. Yeah. And I'm gonna add lies to it, like a chef. Yeah. All type of spice yes, and seasoning and make it real hot. Yes. Right. Before you know it, I'm gonna have one about to murder the other. Yes. I'm gonna have one trying to take the other's wife. I'm gonna have one try. I'm gonna enlarge it real good until I work on Johnson's nerves so bad when White come around, Johnson gonna act in a way that's out of his character. Right. And White gonna become an innocent victim of Johnson's tyranny. My Lord. Now I got Brother White beat up. I'm successful. Now I got Brother White pressing charges at Johnson. I'm successful. What right. I'm doing? Killing two birds with one stone. Now I got Brother White taking Johnson to church or taking him to court. Now I got Brother White pressing charges. I got Brother Johnson now in jail. And I'm sitting back enjoying it all. How did I enhance it? Through text messages and emails because there's somebody who's going to feel the same way I do about Brother White and Brother Johnson. That's right. It's very easily done. That's true. You got those that are gullible for confusion and loves it. Loves it. Yeah. If, they don't, if they don't see confusion, it bores them. Amen. Don't you know some people in your neighborhood or in your family that always got drama? Huh. All the time. All the time. Drama follows them like a little cloud. Remember that fellow on Charlie Brown always got that dirt cloud around him? That's where some people are all about drama. It always followed them. Yeah. Come on, son. Give me Joseph real quick. I get out your way. Come on. And, and she laid up his garment by her until his Lord came home. Yeah. And she spake unto him according to these words, saying, The Hebrew servant, which thou hast brought unto us, yeah. came unto me to mock me. Uh -huh. And it came to pass, as I lifted up my voice and cried, that he left his garment with me and fled out. Yes. And it came to pass, when his master heard the words of his wife, which he spake unto him, saying, After this manner did thy servant to me, that his wrath was kindled. The master, the wife, husband was angry, angry because he believed what the wife said. Right. And he jumped the gun. That's right. Joseph was innocent. Mm -hmm. There are people that have lied on people in the church. Yeah. Lied on their wives, lied on their husbands, lied on other brothers, and then caused others to react at them. Not being intelligent enough to have good sense. That's right. All right, listen. Amen. So every time they come to church, they got this smug look on her face, or on his face, or look at that brother, or look at that sister the wrong way. Don't want to shake their hand. Can't shake their hand on their clear conscience. That's that hatred or that poison is in them. And every chance they get, they either on a phone or text message or talk to someone because they can't control the poison. Outwardly, they try to act like, you know, yeah, they're strong, but inwardly, they're full of the devil out of hell. My Lord. Hmm? Amen. Lord, thank God I want to hit hard. Hit hard. Get this. And it came to pass when his master heard the words of his wife, what is it? which he spake unto him, saying, After this manner did thy servant to me that his wrath was kindled. Yes. And Joseph's master took him and put him into the prison. Ah, the innocent man now was thrown in jail. Uh, a place where the king's prisoners were bound. The righteous man was thrown in jail. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. The wife, she accomplished what she wants. What? Mm -hmm. Cause my husband not to trust him. That's right. Who is he to say no to me? Look at all this. Look at all this. <laughs> <laughs> See, he shattered her confidence. That's what he did. He said no. She's like, oh. <laughs> no. What? That's right. No. No, wait a minute, I'm not, taking, I'm not going to take him serious. So she keep pursuing, keep pursuing, keep pursuing. No! No, you ain't what I want. I don't want you. You're not my... Get away from me. I'll fix you. I'll fix you. I'll fix you. <laughs> That's right. Now he's in jail. Mm -hmm. So you know she's gloping. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on. And Joseph's master took him and put him into the prison. 
a place where the king's prisons were bound, and he was there in the prison. Yes. But the Lord was with Joseph. There it is. Amen. 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 The Lord was with Joseph. Hallelujah to God. Amen. In the midst of the accusation, the Lord, the was, Lord with, was with Joseph. If you know you ever been falsely accused or presently being falsely accused and you know it's not true, don't go beating yourself up trying to prove it. Uh-uh. When you know it's not true, the Lord is with you. Amen. You ain't got to go all out your way trying to prove nothing to nobody. That's right. Just stay cool. The Lord. That's right. And be with you. Amen. That's all you need. That's all you need. Huh? That's right. Amen. Listen. But the Lord was with Joseph and showed him mercy. Ah. Uh, see, the Lord has showed you mercy when people won't. That's true. <laughs> that's true. People won't. Yeah. But the Lord has stepped in. Amen. And that's what counts. Oh, yeah. Real quick. But the Lord was with Joseph and showed him mercy. And what? And gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. Now, the master rejected him, mm. but God stepped down in the prison. Right. And now make the one that's there to guard the cell mm. that Joseph is in. Uh, you're going to look out for Joseph. Give him favor. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm move on you now and make you look out for Joseph. I'm going to make you do with him what you've never done to no prisoner. That's right. You don't, you don't even know why you're looking out for him. That's right. <laughs> it's the Lord's doing. Amen. <laughs> huh? Amen. Oh, this is so beautiful. Yes. It is written, who know the mind of the Lord? That's right. It is also written, the ways of the Lord are strange. strange. This is where it is fulfilled how God is making your enemy your footstool. Come on. And the keeper of the prison committed to Joseph's hand. The keeper of the prison committed to Joseph's hand. All the prisoners that were in the prison. Wait a minute. Now the keeper of the prison ended up doing what the master used to do. That's right. The master had him keeping the house. Mm -hmm. But the wife turned him against Joseph. Mm -hmm. So now God gave him the same favor. A different situation, but the same favor. Right. right. Same God. Let you know you can't be God. That's right. You put the righteous in one hole, God will get him out of that. You put him in another, God will get him out of that. You put him in another, God will get him out of that. Hallelujah. Go ahead, brother. Glory to God. God fights for the righteous. Yes. Amen. Yes, he will. Every time the enemy think they got you, they somewhere rejoicing. When the enemy look, you're not there no more. There no more. Enemy done got something else. They look, you're not there no more. That's right. So now the enemy become frustrated. What in the world can I do? That's right. I done tried emails. I done tried text messages. But now the folks, they just keep coming to that truth of God. That's right. I got people over the internet realize. Yes, hoping right. that would tear them away. Yes. But folks just keep coming to that truth of God. Keep coming. We down in the prison. Go ahead. And God got you down there washing over me. Go ahead. Learn Go ahead. by what's written. Amen. You can never be a child of God. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Never. It will never. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You will never be. In your eyes. In your eyes. That child may be down. Perplexed. Crying. And you hope it's as a result of what was said or what you put upon them right. <laughs> and God Almighty just standing with them Amen Hallelujah go and take off Hallelujah the book says God is with us are you listening? go ahead the book says God is with us go ahead people going to talk all your life I ought to know. I'm a student in it. Yeah. I love it 
when my enemies lie on me. Me personally, I love it. Don't bother me. Amen. I don't mind it. Because everywhere we travel, hundreds, hundreds, hundreds. Yes. Every state and every country, hundreds. Amen. Enemies try to do something else. They send somebody to church. That's right. Report back to the enemy. The enemy even lied to his own enemy. Well, amen. But ain't that many people there, and the enemy believe it. The word says the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end. Come on, read quick, son. But the Lord was with Joseph and showed him mercy. Yeah. And gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. When God give you favor, nothing you can do with that person. No. Bear that in mind. When God give him favor. And I know of a truth that the Lord God have given me favor. Yeah. I know. Hold on. I know that. That is something that I don't guess about. That's something that I don't wish. I know it. I don't care what an enemy tribe, male or female. Don't give two cents what you say, what you think, what you may try. The favor of God is with us. Amen. 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 Amen.